All right, we're going to show you how we build our Langstroth long hive, or the horizontal hive. Um, so from start to finish, we've got the lumber. You know, these are one by twelve by six, and uh, it's actually three quarter inch thick, right? So this will make these two pieces will make our sides, our front, and our back. And uh, let's do that first. All right. All right, now we're going to cut the back. We've got this measured. It's, uh, again, it's 19 and 7 eighths and 10 and a quarter. This is going to run the whole length in the back because yeah, the back entrance, there's no entrance. There's no back entrance. That's what I just said. Right. All right, here's a shoulder. This is where the, um, the tops of the uh, frames hang on, right? And that, I gotta cut off this square section right here, or rectangular section, all the way down the board. Here it is. Here's a, can you see that? There it is. The blade's gotta be three, how long is it? Five eighths high, and then the fence is set at three eighths. So that's the first cut, and you'll see how I do it. So now, I've got these brackets, these square 90 degree angle brackets, all right, to hold the wood, you know, so we can glue it and screw it, right? Uh, first thing I gotta do is pre-drill the holes so the wood doesn't split when I put my uh, screws in, all right? I'm gonna put three screws, one, two, and three. I wanna pre-drill like a tiny hole just so it, like, it fits in better, it doesn't split the wood. On the wood today we bought for the sides, the top, the front, we spent $53. All right, so let me pre-drill some three holes on one side, three holes on the other side. Right there is good. So we got the front all bracketed up. Let me get this a little better. And uh, I already pre-drilled the holes like you saw us do in the back. Now we just got to glue it and put the screws in. We almost have to, don't we? Yeah. So let me get the glue in there. Yeah, it's perfect, perfect. Come on, glue. Today. So once the holes are in, that's it. Son of a bitch. Yeah, no way. Third curse. Come on, glue. Okay, now we're going to make the top, the telescoping top, right? And it's going to be uh, 51 and 1 quarter by 20 and 3 quarters. 51 and a quarter by 20 and 3 quarters. Uh, this board is not that measurement. It's actually too short. We're going to rip it, take part of that, and extend it to the correct length. All right, this is not 51 and 1 quarter. It's only like 48 inches right now. Great, great. So 
this is 48, and we're going to take some of this, cut it, and glue it on top right there to make it 51 and one quarter. Let me measure. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm laying out the, uh, the rim or the skirt. Uh, here's my, my top, right? I got that cut to right length and width, and now I'm just going to lay out and glue on you know, the skirt that goes around it. So, yeah. <clears throat> now I just got to cut some wood, and that's what I'm going to do. All right, first I'm going to pre-drill all the holes before I put screws into them. Alright, so the skirt is dry. I got it all around. Can you see me? You probably can't see me. Hold on. Anyway, the skirt, it's glued and screwed all the way around. Alright, got that. This is for the top. Let me lay it down. What I need to do now is just lay on the aluminum and glue it on. I have to glue on the aluminum. Alright, so I'm going to spread uh, Gorilla Glue all around here and then lay my aluminum sheets on. All right, we're back. So, I got the aluminum sheeting glued on to the, uh, to the wooden telescoping uh, lid, outer cover, and uh, I'm gonna cut off the extra, all right? Looks good. I'm gonna get my hammer now and tap it down.
Alright, welcome back. So here is, here's the bottom and the front, bottom and front of the hive body. And now it's time to attach uh, the landing board. I don't know how thick this, this is just a piece of plywood I had lying around. I really don't recommend using plywood because as it gets wet, it starts to expand and come apart. So I'm a hypocrite right now. But what I did is I took some wood glue and put it all around the edge just to kind of seal it. Uh, like again, I'm just trying to be, save wood and be cheap. So it's going to get screwed to the front on the bottom. Now how far does it come in? How far does it come in? I measured a mark three quarters, three quarters. So from there it's going to come in three quarters and then I'm going to screw it down. And I already got the screws and the holes pre-drilled. Alright, so three quarters of an inch in, three quarters of an inch in from this edge right here. Measure and make a mark right there and right there. You get the uh, splinter parts in it. So this is number seven hardware cloth, I think it is. I bought it from Jay Darby and Sons in Philly. I drove up there and bought it. I bought a big spool of it. Uh, it's like 50 yards long. I think it was like a hundred and about a hundred dollars. I got tons of it. So if you need any, I'll cut it for you and mail it to you, maybe. So what I'm going to do is lay that right there. Lay that right there. And how long is this? So from here to here, I measured off like roughly... And I'll cut off the extra. So we now got 47 and a half. I'm not, I, I cut a piece... 47 and a half, and it's already set to, I think, three feet long. Now it's just a matter of pulling it tight, which is really hard. Pulling it tight. Yeah, right. So now the next thing is to run the trim. And I cut my pieces here. This is 19 and 3 quarters. This is going to go right here. I'm going to screw it down, right? And then another piece, 19 and 3 quarters, is going to go here. And then these are 45 and 7 eighths. This is going to go here. And this piece, 45 and 7 eighths, is going to go there. Bam. I'll screw those down. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'll screw this guy down. This is the front. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. It's split. All right, careful. Alright, so I'm going to cut this, uh, <clears throat> this is the bottom, bottom panel of the, uh, of the hive. So let's cut it to size. This goes on the bottom like that. Perfect. Perfect. Let's see here. Let's do one right here. Good. Come on. Let's do one right here. Make sure that's centered. Hold on. Hold on. That's how it goes, right? So your oil trays 
can go in, and then you use this piece to just seal it up. Like look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad, yo. Check it out. Check it out. It is done. Complete. There it is, man.